hello friend in this video lecture i'm going to discuss about how to convert to a string to integer in uh, c sharp dot net so we can do it by three ways so this is the code that i already written to save some time so right here we can convert by using convert clause to int method so you you can use here or uh, any kind of uh, to int method so here if you write to i then you can use the uh, 16, 32, 64 here. So let's uh, include the uh, 64. Now here after, uh, if you run this code, then you can get the output. So here you can uh, 56 is now a string. So after applying convert dot to into 64, so it's a uh, converted into integer. Okay. So here this is 56. It's a uh, integer. Now here I'm using a uh, get type. So with the help of get type, so it uh, return the type of the current instance. So current instance here, it's a uh, integer. So that here system int 32 it's a uh, displaying. So this is the first way we can convert. Now let's uh, comment. And here after the second uh, way we can convert to uh, this or uh, string to integer here a string as 45 here int d int dot parse so with the help of parse method we can easily convert a string to integer so s 45 s value is now here this is the string so by using int dot parse method it's converted into integer and store into d so d is now integer and here d is here you can see this the integer now if I run this code here you can see 45 that will or display so this is the integer and here you can uh, see so if you don't give anything so by default it's uh, taken int 32 so get tab in 32 it's uh, taken now here after so if you give uh, this place any wrong uh, values so definitely that uh, exception generated okay so it's a building here you can see this uh, will uh, return some kind of exception so to avoid the exception you should uh, better use here or uh, try parse method so let's uh, convert and here you can uh, use this method so a string as 10 to 20 here in int n so about the try parse method so it's so uh, here int try pass method so it will return bool and uh, if the condition is not satisfied then that uh, return 0 here convert a string to integer 32 bit equivalent and here our return value indicate whether conversion succeeded so if true then it's uh, succeeded or else false so the value is uh, correct format now 10 this is input and here output or uh, 10 it's go to n1 or uh, input 20 now here or 20 now if i uh, run this code here you can see the output so here uh, 0 1 is the placeholder for n1 and n2 so after converting here 10 20 it's so this blank now n1 n2 both are integer suppose if user enter any uh, wrong values so definitely uh, it will not change it exception so in place of exception or uh, that uh, display 0 so if user input to uh, wrong value on s1 so this place that odd 0 here you can see 0 n1 it's a uh, display like this you can if you user enter here you 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 and uh, s1 and uh, you cannot convert u into integer so that uh, in place of exception it will or uh, return 0 so here you can see this is uh, returning 0 and there is one more uh, missing point here we need to write uh, meaningful masses convert after converting to integer 0 and 1 is the placeholder for n1 and n2 so these three ways we can convert or uh, string to integer by using csr.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video and th thank you